Um, welcome everyone. Today I'm sitting down with Taylor and Taylor is a student in our Grant Me Financial Freedom program uh, and we're so excited for her to, uh, to sit down with her today and really learn about um, her process with scholarship applications, university applications, things like that um, and to really learn about um, you know how she was successful uh, in her process as well. Um, so thanks so much for sitting down with me today Taylor. Yeah, no problem. Great. Awesome. So um, Taylor is actually, um, she's from BC as well. Um, Grammy's located in, in BC. And so um, the first thing I want to ask you, Taylor, was um, where are you planning on going to school and what are your career goals? Yeah, well, I'm actually planning to stay in BC. Um, that was something that I never thought thought I was going to do initially because I applied all over the place. Um, but when it came down to the final decision, I was really enticed by um, a, a local institution called Quest uh, just because of their unique program, mm -hmm. um, which really aligned with my interests in a sense that I could have a flexibility to pursue my different interests. So um, yeah, I'm very fascinated between so I, I like computer science, but also interested in neuroscience. And initially, I didn't think those two things really meshed, um, but they do. There's actually um, a lot of interesting implications between cognitive science um, and how that maps on to maybe creating new products um, on the computer science side. So that's where I want to kind of explore. Um, and I want to do that at Quest because, yeah. Awesome. I love it. That sounds so fascinating. I remember um, I've edited a couple of your applications um, and uh, I remember you applying to, I think it was a grant for artificial intelligence. Was it? I can't. Oh, yeah. 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 I love that one. That was, that was excellent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, your writing is, oh, by the way, your writing is fantastic. Like if you ever want to uh, oh. pursue a career in writing, like I definitely think you should. Um, but no, no, you, like, oh, wow, I, I, you. yeah, no, it, it's fantastic. You're very, um, I love your, the way that you describe things. You're very descriptive and, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool to see. Um, yeah. Awesome. I just think that, focus on not getting too carried away with the descriptions. <laughs> I, that's, that's what I need to, yeah, bring it on. For sure. No, of course. Um, no, that's awesome to hear. Um, I, I think that a lot of students, um, you know, wanting to pursue science, um, there, there's actually a lot of students in our program are who are wanting to do like engineering or any type of science, um, neuroscience and things like that. So that's awesome um, to hear your story and what you're planning on to doing with that. Um, great. Uh, so I wanted to ask you next, uh, where were you at with the scholarship and university application process prior to grade 12? Yeah, um, essentially nowhere. So <laughs> I, I mean, like, I guess, that's a little um, brash, but like I knew that I was preparing, I want to prepare, prepare for scholarship success um, uh, that is like actively looking for and applying for scholarships, um, even ones potentially for future that I wasn't gonna apply for right away. But um, I just kind of like felt, like I knew I should be doing all, the, all those things, but I just kind of felt um, overwhelmed by the whole process and I didn't really know where to start. So before grade 12, I was definitely kind of a bit anxious about the whole, like, like the whole process of applying and looking for scholarships. Um, and that kind of kept me from really going anywhere. So that's why I say essentially nowhere. <laughs> Love it. I know. I think that a lot of students are in the similar boat as you, um, you know, not really knowing kind of where to start, um, you know, how to begin this process, yeah. you know, should I contact, things like that. Um, so yeah, no, that's, um, that's great that, um, not, not great that <laughs> that happened, but uh, no, I think that a lot of students are in the similar boat. Um, great. Yeah. yeah. And so I wanted to ask you, um, you know, uh, how did you get to where you're at now? Meaning, what does it look like to be successful in your scholarship or university applications? Um, yeah, well, starting from where I was, uh, first off, I would say with the support of the fantastic team at Grammy, <laughs> um, just gonna say, because in all honesty, though, it gave me um, the direction that I needed 
So I'm the type of person who likes to overthink a lot, um, which like I mentioned, leads to overwhelm and ultimately just inaction. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, one of the, I guess, cornerstones that has got me to where I'm now has been having, uh, I would say like a clear map mm -hmm. of which scholarship applications I need to focus on and which ones um, I have in a pipeline for coming months. Mm -hmm. So this kind of, I guess, allowed me to pace myself throughout the process because applying for scholarships is not a sprint. Um, it's a marathon and I'm, I'm in it for the long run, um, even when I'm in undergrad. Mm -hmm. So uh, pacing yourself is key. Um, yeah, and then another thing which applies to scholarship applications, but also university applications um, that I believe helped me with success has been my willingness to kind of uh, openly share my story, I guess, my setbacks, my failures, hardships, you know, the stuff that makes me, me, the stuff that makes my essays come across as uh, authentic, um, which makes me stand out amongst the sea of other applicants. So I think it's really important to not hold back um, because you'll just kind of get looked past because um, you don't stand out as really striking in a sense that you know, people get a sense of feel like, oh, this person's really um, coming forth with how they've lived so far and how that aligns with maybe the values of the school or the scholarship. So, yeah. I love how you just touched on that. Like, um, that's huge uh, with, you know, taking a look at uh, scholarship committees or um, universities values and, you know, where they align and how you, uh, how your values align with that as well. And I think that um, using your authentic language and telling your story is like, you know, it definitely is what made you successful because um, it really sets you, uh, stand, makes you stand out compared to other applications um, and really kind of finding your voice within that. Um, I love how you mentioned that. And then also time management, I think is also super important when it comes to scholarship applications. Like you mentioned, um, you know, it's going to be a process you continue for the rest of your degree. Um, and as long as you have that, like, student status, there's always going to be grants and bursaries that you can apply for. Um, and now that you've kind of gone through this um, process, you can now carry that on with you to post-secondary, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Great. Yeah. And so um, my next question for you is, um, how has the program helped you so far? Oh, um, yeah. Well, I guess as I mentioned uh, previously, like I was in need of clarity. Mm -hmm. um, and like we mentioned, uh, time management and a plan of action. Mm -hmm. So I guess through the Grammy program, yeah, not only did I get like helpful feedback on essays and everything, um, but also the resources to really navigate the process of applying for scholarships. Um, that is like what timelines I should be concerned with and what steps I need to stay on track, um, which to some might seem, I guess, anxiety provoking, <laughs> deadlines, schedules, and all the rest of it. Um, but actually, like as someone who is easily pushed towards uh, that side of the spectrum, um, I found that knowing I had a system in place, um, one that I was confident in because it's been proven successful by other students, even Madison herself, um, was like this weight of scholarship dread just like lifted off my shoulders because I was able to, um, yeah, so, and I was also able to like allocate more time and energy to other areas of my life rather than worrying and focusing on how I was gonna afford post-secondary. So, yeah, that has been um, the game changer for me when I was like throughout the program is really having that sense of confidence and just like, oh, okay, I can just get this done. And, you know, and yeah. Exactly. Oh, I love it. That's fantastic to hear. Um, yeah, I, I, I love hearing about how you know, maybe the way that our app is set up, um, you know, seeing the projected deadlines that you have in the future and being able to kind of work away, work at your time um, and really allocate 
time, you know, spent towards scholarships, but then also having time for your personal life, um, which is, you know, really important as well. Um, and so hearing that that has helped you um, throughout your process um, is really nice to hear because I, I love, um, you know, any way that we can kind of make uh, a student's process easier um, in applying to scholarships um, or university applications, uh, anything like that um, is really going to, uh, you know, is really um, fulfilling uh, for us to hear. And so that's awesome that you shared that. Um, great. And so my last question for you is, what would be your biggest advice to students who are about to start this whole scholarship university application process? Um, I would say just kind of touching off the points that I've mentioned so far is mm -hmm. to, first of all, be strategic, um, have a plan and pace yourself. Yeah. And second, uh, be authentic. So really kind of reflect on what makes you unique and how you can approach, I guess, the same prompt as everyone else, but differently um, and be open to sharing your story. Love it. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for sitting down with me today, Taylor. I think that a lot of students are going to find a lot of value in what you're saying and, um, you know, uh, be really grateful to kind of you know, learn about your process and what you're up to in the world. And um, yeah, thank you so much for sitting down with me today. My pleasure. Great. Take care and we'll speak with you soon. All right. See ya. Bye.